really, really like having really, really good sex. Where that come from, boo? What, when, when we start talking about sex? Block. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Ages How You Wear It. If it's your first time here, thanks for stopping by. All of my butterflies, welcome. We're back, and we are going strong. I told you, I'm not playing this time around. My very first vlog. So I'm going to let you in on my life. So what we're going to do is this. Going forward, I will do vlogs. I'm not saying a lot of them. And that is outside of my fashion um, how to style videos. So you're going to have my how to style videos. I'll keep it very separate from this. You might see me unbox some things that I'm going to style. You may see me go thrifting. I'm going to take you thrifting with me. I'm going to take you if I go shopping. But... Anything that I wear or anything that I style will be on my how to style videos. Everything else you're going to see in the vlog. So, I mean, my life ain't exciting. COVID got us on lockdown and, you know, I'm back to working from home. So, yeah, I can't even put on outfits like I want to every day. But I'm going to try to make sure that I give you some footage. So, first off, I got a new package in, so I thought I'd go ahead and unbox that with you. And then we'll go ahead and put her on the shelf if I like it. It is a blind buy. Do you understand me? It is a blind buy, so I don't know how it smells. I'll put all the information next to me somewhere, and let's do it. So, as I stated, it came from Saks. So, I've been waiting two weeks to unbox this. It came from Saks. I hope you can see it. So, I decided that I wanted to get some perfume and start uh, getting my collection. Let me put my glasses on because y'all know I'm blind. And it came with this, I guess, to send it back. I got it for $180. And it is the Instant Crush. So, they had it packaged. See, the thing I don't... I'm going to tell you why I like getting stuff directly from the people who make it. They give you samples. They send you things so they, because they want you to buy their products. But when you get it from other places like Saks or any other Nordstrom or anything like that, they only give you the product. So they don't put extra in there. So I have, um, I want to try some Dior products. So I'm going to see how they send that package. And I got it directly from Dior. So let's see how what the difference is and it is the older perfume i got it in the 120 millimeter and it is called instant crush so the reason why i got this is because i've been doing a lot of uh youtube research on different perfumes i wanted to try something different i didn't want to keep getting you know the normal that everybody got so i said you know what i'm gonna start just finding out about brands and then going to get those brands so oh look it comes in this little pouch how cute so it's got their emblem all over the pouch and it's a nice thick pouch too nice and pretty to go on my shelf and let me bring it out oh what a beautiful bottle nice okay and there's the top so this is a beautiful bottle i love it all right oh and it's magnetic okay all right i ain't never tried it let's see Okay. 
Definitely is not something that is not appealing. Ooh. Mm, the more it dries down. Oh, it smells good. And what's so funny is, I can tell when I first sprayed it, it smelled a little masculine, and I like a masculine mix. But the more it's drying down, it has a beautiful scent to it. Oh, I love it. Good, so I'm going out today, and I'm gonna put this on, and I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna spray it, and then I'm gonna give you a review of it, and let you know how long it lasts, how good it is. And for a blind buy, I do not regret getting it. So, oh, instant crush. So we're gonna put this on my shelf because I gotta wipe my perfumes down and my shelf where I keep it. Okay, I done got dressed and everything. So let's go ahead and see about putting this bad boy on my display. So I done got so much room now um, <clears throat> that I uh, took some of my bags out because I'm gonna start wearing my bags that I call winter bags that you don't wear in the summer. Um, so I uh, put her here and um, I think I'm not going to pair her with anything because I don't know right now how strong um, sh her, how strong she will be. But I don't know if I want to keep it in the bag. I can't see my perfume when it's covered up and stuff. So I might just go ahead and just set her out like this. Um, and then that way and have this like in the back as a pouch just as a decoration. Okay, so let's go ahead and let me get my wipe so I can wipe down some of my perfume. And then we're going to talk about um, date. So I am to the point, guys, that I have even given up on trying to go on a date. Because I can't even get past... Um, the dating sites, I just couldn't deal with that. So I ain't even bother doing that anymore. I don't even want to do that. Because even on those, it still seems like you got to do so much research to find out if this person, is that they right picture? Is is that the true person? Um, So I just gave up on dating sites altogether. And then people talking crazy and already talking about sex before you even find out like anything about them and I know that in the world today everything is about fast and quick and honey I'm still old-fashioned it's not happening so I just am to the point now where it's like I give somebody a chance so I'm gonna give you an example Instagram I got um, a DM from a guy. He asked, you know, how you doing? And um, I, I like your content and you look like an interesting person. And I just want to see if, you know, it's okay if I reach out to you every now and then and see how you're doing. So, yeah, good. Okay. No problem. Yes. I'm down with that. You sure can. So, um, he started reaching out and... Um, Every couple of days, how you doing? How was your day? Tell me about what you did today. Asking questions about movies, food you like, stuff like that. So by the time we got to that first week of full talking, so it was one straight week of talking, um, I was like, okay, he's not talking crazy. You know, I might go ahead and because he asks, you know, is it okay if I get your phone number so that we won't have to 
continuously talk through Instagram. So I'm thinking, okay, you know what? I actually found somebody that I might entertain letting them have my number and actually talking to them on the phone. Okay, so end of the week came. We talking again about, you know, our day and things we like and, you know, the, the normal stuff that people talk about. And so before I, so I said, okay, well, I'm going to uh, call it a night. And he says in the text, well, um, oh, and another thing I like is I really, really like having really, really good sex. Where that come from, boo? What when, when we start talking about sex, blocked. I don't even entertain. I do not entertain. No. Now maybe it's women out there that say, "Oh, it's nothing wrong with that." Yeah, he just want to say that he likes sex. Okay, who don't? Why you gotta talk about that right now? Why are we even on that subject at all? Why do you think that I'm ready at this point? I haven't even given you my phone number yet. That you had this. I knew it. I say, why they can't? Why are you even talking about that right now? We grown people. We not teenagers sitting here talking about no boohoo kitty. Why did you even bring that up? Blocked. I love this little flower arrangement I have um, that I found from the thrift store for $2. I can't wait to take y'all thrifting with me. $2. So I put that in here just to give it some ambiance because, you know, some of you may be new. I turned my linen closet into my IKEA closet. So let me show you. So just in case you've never seen my videos. So what I did was I turned it into a storage place where I can store my bags and my perfumes, the little that I have. Um, and it's to the point where, cause I rent a town home until I'm in a home home, I wouldn't dare build anything in something that I'm renting. So I need all the space I can get. And this closet in my hallway was just a junk closet where I just threw things in. And I was like, you know what? Instead of overpowering my bathroom and my room, why don't I just open this space up? I can do what I want to in my house. This is my house. And I opened it up and made me my own little Ikea, honey, because I have to keep my coins for other things. So... I can't wait to try that perfume out, but guys, let me tell you a little bit of some of the perfume that I would, now that I've been wearing it long enough, things that really last, that's a winter scent that I have, and this Bond number no. 9, the Amber New York, this stuff here, this Amber New York, this lasts all day, but if you don't like amber, the smell of Amber, then don't get this, but if you do, when I say all day, all day. It lasts all day. And um, my Baccarat, um, I do have the Baccarat and I love the smell. And when I smell it on others, I can smell it. But when I spray it on myself, I can't smell it. After, and I don't know if that's so much of a bad thing because I don't know if I want to be smelling my perfume like that all day. So, but people would be like, oh, you smell so good. But I'd be forgetting what I got on because I can't smell it. And some people don't like that. Then some people have it and they can smell it on themselves. Now, I smell it for the first, like, hour. But after that, I'm wondering if my stuff's still on me because I can't smell it. But a lot of people smell it. And, oh, my goodness. My Louis Vuitton spell on you. Um, if you haven't seen my unboxing video of this, oh yes, oh yes, this smells so good and this lasts. Yes, so that is one of my favorites. All of my Coco Mademoiselles is my favorite. And when I want a day scent that I'm going out 
Look, I didn't put a dent on that. I love my Miss Dior Absolute Blooming. This is definitely a day scent um, and a good scent to wear to work. So I can't wait to see how it's going to be, guys. We're going to see how this is. I'm going to wear it and I will have a review for you. All right, let me put you back a little bit. Okay, so I thought I'd talk to you about some of the foods that I eat. Child, when they say a shot of espresso, they mean a shot of espresso. Woo! Let me stir it a little bit because baby, this is strong but we going thrifting today so we need this we are going thrifting so i hope you're excited to go thrifting with me okay oh i just had to stir it up so y'all know this is, i'm new to vlogging so take it as a grain of salt it, it will be choppy in the beginning but i will learn so bear with me so let me tell you some of the things that I like to eat. I want to show you a few things. So one of my favorite dishes to eat is these cauliflower wings by Bird's Eye. When I tell you this is my favorite thing in the world. When I used to eat meat, salmon was my favorite thing. So if you watch my, if you've been watching me or you watch my last vlog, 
I'm a pescatarian, which means I used to eat. I was a pescatarian. I used to eat salmon and tuna, and now I just eat side dishes. I am just a side dish person. So these are so good. Now, of course, they don't taste anything like a wing. It is not real chicken. Okay, so besides that, let me tell you one of my favorite drinks. It is Shaka, and the flavors I like is Guava Ginger Blossom. That's one of them. This is so good. This is so good. It has nothing in it. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? It has no nothing. It has no it's zero everything. It's zero everything. You don't have to worry about if you don't like to drink a lot of water and you don't want to make your own tea, which I will also put just tea bags in my water and let it sit in the refrigerator and drink that because it's nothing in it. It's just the flavor in the water. If you get tired of drinking just regular water so if you want some I, this is at here is at a Publix but look it up it may be somewhere where you're at and it's tea Hawaii Island vibes that's what it, it's like it's tea but it has nothing in it to harm you so that one and I also like by gold thread this is a plant-based tonic so if you don't eat a lot of greens now it's it, honey let me just tell you it's not it it's not gonna taste the best but instead of buying those little shots have this um and get you a little you know every i know you got a shot glass i know you got a shot glass put some of this in a shot a shot glass and just down it just down it so i don't eat a lot of greens like i should I'm not saying I don't eat any, but so that I can get as much nutrition as I can, I get this. And it's plant-based, so it doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. This is my favorite water, just water. So, because I don't buy meat and all that, I can spend a little extra money in grocery shopping, buying the things that I like to drink. And that way, I'm, you know, I still instead of just the regular water because I got a filter on my sink so um, and I got a filter container so I can get filtered water but when I'm tired of drinking that I, so I will get these two and then my all-time favorite zero Gatorade is the best Gatorade zero it it has nothing in it that will harm you so this is the fruit punch one so my gatorade when i want something sweet so these are things that i'm buying this week so it may change from vlog to vlog um i like the sun made raisins and i'm quite sure everybody know about these and i just love getting the little boxes i don't know what it is but I just like the little boxes because this is enough of a snack right here. You want something sweet? Just eat you a box of raisins if you like raisins, especially at night. So I come and get a box of these. And then, of course, my bananas. And this is my favorite applesauce I was talking about. The Mott's No Sugar Added Applesauce. I like the Granny Smith. And me, I'm crazy. So I will put raisins in my applesauce. I will put trail mix in my applesauce. Eat it and you got you a nice, a, a very good um, snack. Uh, so let's go upstairs. Let's see what's going on upstairs. Okay, we're back in my bathroom. I wanted to show you a couple of things. I got so many things to show you. First, uh, let me show you a clip of, I had two unboxings. So the first one I'm gonna show you is a clip of my Dior unboxing. So roll it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you 
Okay, I wanted to make sure that I came up here and showed you the unboxing of my Dior package that arrived. I look a mess, so I'm not coming on camera. <laughs> so, it came with, of course, the packing information and the return. And then it also came with a Dior note. And it says, thank you for your recent purchase. We are glad to count you among our clients and would like to show our appreciation with a special gift. Oh, explore the world of Dior's fragrance, makeup, and skincare collection on Dior.com and receive a Rouge Dior 999 miniature with your next purchase using this code at checkout. So perfect. I like free stuff. Look how they wrap the purchase. So nice. So pretty. I need to take a, make sure I get a nice picture of that. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox it. Okay, so inside, Wow, what is this? So inside is an envelope, a very pretty envelope. So, oh, they giving people the red envelopes. Okay. I think this has something to do with the Chinese New Year, if I'm not mistaken. This is very pretty. So then, sorry about the uh, steam, it's my humidifier. You see it over there? Okay, so then it has the Dior sticker. Oh, and I just got all I got was some uh, beauty items. So let's take a look at it. All right, so I got the Dior. Let's see if you can see it. The Dior Forever. Uh, skin corrector. So this is my um, my actual concealer. So this is it. Let's take a look at it. I got number 40W. 4W. Oh, I think that is. Yeah. Warm. I think it says warm olive. Now, I'm taking a chance because I, I, I don't know if this is going to be the right concealer. But I have warm undertones, so I'll let you know if it is correct. But this is it. This is how it looks. And as you can see, it is the forever skin corrector okay so i got that and i got the lip oil people be talking about the lip oil so i wanted to try it so this is how it looks and so i got the lip glow oil and i got it in cherry oh i can't wait to try this I, that people rave about this lip oil. So I really cannot wait to try that. So I also got the, oh yeah, the new edition. I wanted to try because they had this beautiful case, first of all. And I wanted to try the red. So let me tell you which one I got. This feels beautiful. I mean, it feels nice. Wow. And it's got the CD at the top and then the hair and bone look. So this is the, so this is the Dior Rouge, the Rouge Dior in number 999. It was just talking about getting a actual uh, sample of it for one for your purse. So as you can see, it's the, um, 
I'm trying to make it focus. So this is it. And it's in this herringbone um, case. So let's look at And why I like this one is because it has a orange undertone to it. Look at it on my skin. I ain't want to waste that much freaking product either. But look at it. Isn't it pretty against my skin? That's why I wanted this color. And I believe in here is the free samples. I like this bag. You know I'm going to save this bag. You know I am. So let's see what I got. So the first thing I got is the Dior Savage. This smells so good. If you've ever, I don't know if you've ever tried it. It smells so good. So I got that sample. I got some eye care so they gave me a sample of their cell energy uh firming wrinkle corrector eye cream and this is expensive on their website and i got the little miniature size uh, of let me see if i can make it focus Come on, focus. Of the Miss Dior. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can help it focus. Come on. Come on. There it is. Of the Miss Dior perfume. And here's the box. Now, I have the Miss Dior, the Lady Dior um, Absolute Blooming. That's the only thing I don't like. I don't like when they don't have a spray. As you saw, I got a few things from Dior. And I want to tell you about this. This lip oil. This lip oil. Now that I need to drop my coffee. This lip oil right here. Let me show you. All I did was put it on. Not only do it smell good, it smell like some type of, I don't know, mint. I don't know. Something that smells good. I think it's some type of mint, but I got so many smells in here. I don't know. Um, but this lip oil that they talk about is worth every dime to me because you see it looks very glassy. Like, you know, the MAC. Everybody remember the MAC uh, glass gloss? It's like that, but it doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel like I have it on once I put it on. And my lips feel so, I can't stop doing this. Not because the product is on it, but because it feels so good. So I'm glad I got this and it will only be worn on, you know, certain occasions because I got a lot of gloss and stuff I can put on this right here because it's so cold and my lips feel so dry if i go outside and go somewhere i actually put this on
and I can hope you see me better because I was kind of chopped off and I don't feel like refilming that portion of it. So here we go. All right. So in that video, I was showing you some of the things that I, how I put on my face, you know, it's very simple. I'm not a makeup person. This is not a makeup channel. I do what I know works for me. So I'm going to tell you some of the things that I had on that I really want to talk about. So today I have on the By Terry Serum. And yes, women of color can wear the By Terry Serum. I put this on when I don't want to put foundation on. So first I'll put on my Neutrogena uh, Moisturizer. You know I rave about this. I will use this as a moisturizer and as a primer. And then I put my by Terry on. Um, I already told you that I do my eraser first uh, so that I can. So what happened is I, from me using, you know how you'll get those little samples of uh, packs for your face. Like hit this, get rid of acne, make your face better, stuff like that. Well. I used one of the samples and all I did was put it around my nose to uh, start putting it on like something like a uh, mask and it burnt me. So I hurried up and washed it off, but it already burnt me. So I had to put blue star ointment on it. I put cocoa butter on it and I did that for like two weeks and it took a lot of the it healed it but it left me with black marks on my nose so i'm gonna make sure i show you that so be very careful with these trial things because if it's nothing wrong with your face and some of these have acid in it if it's nothing wrong with your face be be as gentle as you can because it burnt me right here and it just looked like discoloration just like my eyes and my birthmark so i was like okay now i got more what anyway so this right here is a miracle so make sure that you do do this maybelline if you want to take care of any discoloration and my fendi concealer and my dior favorite dior palette i love the neutral colors you can wear this every day it goes with every single outfit i ever wear and i have multiple palettes and I just keep going for this one. And it's worth every penny. I've had it for a while. And I love it. And then the Fenty um, blush. And this one is in the color Rose Latte. Oh, I can't go back to any other blush. And I have some. But I need to stop using this to try them. You know, I got to stop using what I got to try the new stuff. So this right here, and of course on my lip, I just got my the Dior lip uh, oil I was just talking about. So that's what I got on my face today. That just so that I can go out without looking all crazy. And I hope you enjoy that little uh, get ready with me portion of the video. So let me talk about another thing while I'm in the bathroom. If you have a humidifier, so this is mine. This humidifier, $14.99, Amazon, changes colors. Look at it. Going to work. And what I like about it is it actually shuts down on its own once it's gone. Once the water is gone, it shuts down all by itself. So I will put what it is right here so that you can stop the video and look it up on Amazon. So, I used to love buying the little oils, the lavender and all that. So, you know, her aromatherapy, love it, until I ran out. So, I ran out of it, and I was like, oh, man, what can I put in my humidifier? And it's just oil-based. That stuff is just oil-based uh, mixed with water. That's all it is. Well, I had ran out, so I had opened this coconut cream pie from bath and body works i took the little top off because i didn't like this i really don't like a lot of the uh the mist 
I buy I buy it with the body uh the body cream and I usually just give my granddaughter the other the mist because I get it when during the sale. Well I open this up and put this in there. I ain't never been back. I ain't bought another thing. I put you know how you get samples from the store from um the boutiques or whatever where you get your perfume samples the uh it, but you like eh maybe I like the smell of it or it doesn't smell good on me but I like it the smell on other people you put it in your put a few drops in your humidifier you won't go back to buy nothing else from nobody I use what I got in my house and I got plenty of stuff I can put in this humidifier that my as soon as you hit my top steps you don't smell nothing but what I got in my humidifier I'm going to get a, a bigger one to go downstairs but I'm waiting till I move because I don't like putting nothing new in this place I'm living at so I mean you will see parts of my place I'm not ashamed of it I mean I pay enough it's a townhouse I'm it's good I have two bedrooms, two and a half baths. Plenty for me. This place is just, I don't want to live in Florida. So when I retire, I don't want to live here. So I've been already stacking up stuff for my next house. Because that is how I put it in the atmosphere. It's saying, Lord, I'm grateful for where I'm at. Don't get me wrong. Because I can be living something somewhere much worse. I'm grateful, but I want to retire and live here. So I'm going to start making, I'm putting in the atmosphere, putting it on my, on my, on my board, putting it, making it, you know, putting it out there. So that's all you could do. So I wanted to tell you about that humidifier. You have got to try it. Okay. Let's get ready to go thrifting. <music>